time to have this incompetent shit spigot be in charge. <laughs> Trump just does and says basically anything. I mean, that gassing protesters for that weird Bible photo op, the way he holds this Bible, it's like the way that somebody holds a baby who hates babies. <laughs> I'm doing this show because the world's on fire and I live in Brooklyn, New York and had to spend the pandemic in a horrible fashion watching people die, friends, everything else. Uh, I'm also from Minneapolis and I'm watching my city burn because yet again, nobody wants to deal with systemic racism. We're at a watershed moment when I was like, should I do a show? Shit's so dark. And then I was like, yeah, I should do a show because shit's so dark. I don't even know, what do you call a group of Karens? Is it a COVID of Karens or privilege of Karens or how about just a bunch of cunts? <laughs> so I was like, fuck it. I'm going to come back to Minneapolis and I'm going to do the most classic Minnesota show ever because Minnesotans will come out for anything if you tell them there is booze because they have clothes for all the weather. I can't with the my body, my choice men because here's the difference between your body with COVID and a pregnant person's body. There's no risk that their pregnancy could get someone else pregnant if they stand six feet away from them. <laughs> also, you don't spread a pregnancy. You spread to get pregnant, not to split hairs. I'm doing a show and they want to see me take down those who are trying to burn it all down. So, if you want a catharsis, and you want to hear those who have not fucking done a single thing to try to fix the world and worse, have exacerbated it by their ignorance and intolerance and bullshit racism, then this is the comedy show for you.